All new streaming devices and honestly most tech products are getting built with the capabilities to use and utilize Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E. And that's no different with pretty much every Fire Stick now that can utilize Wi-Fi 6 and even the Maxes that can utilize Wi-Fi 6E. But not a lot of people know how to benefit from this and how it is going to benefit them. I know we've all had this experience when you're on your couch, you're trying to stream something, you're looking at your phone at the exact same time and you're Wi-Fi just isn't running right. Now we sit there and complain but we never actually look up the reason for the issue and the reason is with older Wi-Fi systems such as Wi-Fi 5 which probably a lot of people are still using modems and routers that can only go up to Wi-Fi 5. It only allows you the capability to send signals to one device at a time. Now this can obviously be an issue when every household probably has 20 plus devices connected. I mean just a quick tally in my head, I can count six cameras, two smart locks, robot vacuum, phone, computer, laptop, streaming devices. And a lot of these are trying to receive signals at the exact same time. Now with Wi-Fi 6, you can receive all those signals at the same time, and it just offers a faster experience overall. So today I really wanna go through how much faster that experience is going to be by reviewing this is the Rai RX 6000. Now today we're gonna to be setting it up and we're gonna be doing tests before we set it up, testing different devices and the internet connection, including our Fire TV. And we'll also be testing it after we set it up to see how it improves the speed. Now shout out to Rai for sending me the RX 6000. All these results are going to be completely honest. So we're gonna see if this thing actually improves it running Wi-Fi 6. And it also has some really cool benefits if you're a gamer or you watch IPTV. Now before we get into the main unit, it did come with a few accessories. We have this big AC power cord, and then we of course have one ethernet cord here to run our router to our modem, which most internet service providers will need. Now as for the design, I actually really like it. It's an interesting design. It has some LED light ups as well. The only downside I would say is obviously this is going to take up a bigger space for most people because it's more of a square design, although it's circular. Now I think I actually might be able to place my modem on top of this because it's not not very big. I'm hoping that doesn't cause a heating issue, but we'll see temporarily. It also has eight omnidirectional antennas. Now the really cool part about this is this can send up to 100 megabytes per second through two sets of walls. That means if you have it in your basement, you shouldn't see as big of a reduction in your speed. Tons of ventilation at the bottom, and they include a pretty easy instruction guide and a warranty card. So before we get installing this and testing it out, Let's go see how quick my speeds are without it running. Now for the purpose of the test, there'll be no VPN connected and as well, we'll only be using the same site, which is speedtest.net. Now we'll be testing this on four separate devices, my iPhone 14 Pro Max, my PC, which is an interesting one, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll also be testing it on my Fire TV upstairs and then my Fire Stick Max the second generation one that just came out with Wi-Fi 6E. I do want to point out Wi-Fi is never perfect and these results could vary even if I did the test five separate times. So these results can really never be perfect, but again, we'll be completely fair either way. So my PC is a direct ethernet connection to my modem with my internet service provider and I have over a gigabyte and you can see it's definitely getting high speeds. Now obviously the router that we're trying is also going to affect the ethernet speeds and I'll talk about why when we actually test it with the router but you can see these results are incredibly great. So now this is on Wi-Fi on my Pro Max and you can see there it's pulling in pretty good speeds over 600 620 megabyte per second download and i'm going to guess around 80 uh upload as well maybe slightly less all right so let's go ahead and test our fire tv by itself without the fire stick tv max connected all right and lastly we're going to check out the fire stick max so let's test out the fire stick max So now you can see what I mean when I say I don't have a lot of room up here to uh, put this router. Now I do think it's gonna fit. However, 
uh, I am going to have to stack it on top and I'm gonna have to install another shelf here because it's just not enough room. So if you have a smaller rectangular shelf, you know, if you have a bigger area, no problem. Otherwise, this could be an issue with the size. So I'm just gonna put my modem for now, my internet service providers modem, just on top of the router. Again, not ideal, we'll make it work. Now I do have the DC plug in in the back and then I also have it plugged into the yellow uh, port. So that's the number one port. Now on our modem, the first thing we want to do is go ahead and connect our Ethernet port. Now you can see I have a couple connections going on there. That is just for other devices, some security system. So we have that plugged in. So we now want to unplug our modem for our internet service provider and leave that unplugged. Now we have everything connected. I want to plug in the power cable for my router and we're going to wait till we see a white light blinking at the top. Okay, so I can now see a continuous white light. I'm going to plug in my internet service provider modem right here. So that's being plugged back in and that's going to take roughly 30 seconds to power up. So now that we have all this connected, just two simple cords, we, I'm going to head over to my phone and show you how we set this up. So you want to start by heading into your app store and downloading the Rai app. This allows you to set up your router in just a few minutes. You're going to start by creating your own network. And this is exactly what we set the router up to do by connecting it to our modem. From your Wi-Fi list, go ahead and select the RAI network. Once you return to the app, you'll be able to continue with the setup. Now from here, you want to select your Wi-Fi name and password, and you can also create a game Wi-Fi, which is going to be for devices that you want to game on. So it's a little bit faster. So I named mine fast, and then there is fast game, which is a 5G separate network checking out our router and some of the different features inside the app, which I was incredibly impressed with. Not only does it show you your network latency, some upload and download statistics on average, but you can also prioritize device. And we'll talk about the game port in just a few minutes. Now through here, you can also check out the health of your Wi-Fi. You can also set up a separate 2.4 gigahertz channel. And I found this especially useful because all of my cameras require a separate 2.4 signal in order to connect to the device. There's also a parental control where you can set up separate devices and set up timeframes when you want that device locked so the internet no longer works on it. This is really simple and easy to do. So it's a great way to monitor your kids' activities. Now to get an accurate test on my PC, I actually have to disconnect my ethernet cable that is connected to my home computer. We're gonna plug it right into that last port that says gaming, and I'm gonna explain to you why. So the reason why I plug that into the gaming port on the router is because it's the special feature where any device that's plugged in through that port will get priority with your internet connection. So that means even despite all your other devices using your Wi-Fi, this one will give you the best performance for gaming. And even on their app, they have options for devices to be added to your gaming Wi-Fi, which is going to be incredibly fast. Okay, so back over at our PC, we had our original test results, which I'll remind you of right here, incredible speeds. Now I am obviously looking if it's at least comparable, if not higher, because we know Wi-Fi 6 is more not just about speed, but also the ability to connect to multiple devices. So that does have to be uh, put into this equation as well. But we're going to see what the speed ends up, ends up being and if it's faster or slower. So let's give it a ring. So we are seeing a slight decrease in download and upload speed. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test our phone connection. So let's hit go. So before I'll remind you of the results um, of our last test right above here. And so we are seeing a slight increase in speed on our phone already. Now, just to show you, I am connected to the network that we created. So here is our first test results for your reminder. 220 roughly download and almost 80 upload. Let's run it again. So we're seeing roughly identical results. Let's go ahead and check out our Fire Stick TV Max. So here we are again, connected to the fast network. And our first results were removed, but I'll put a little screenshot up here so you can remember. And let's run the test. All right, so let's head back downstairs and talk about the results and a few other factors that are at play. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about results. The router was in most cases just as fast and a little bit slower in a few instances. Now I will point out that my internet service provider has an unusually fast modem, but download speed is not the only factor here. But depending on your internet service provider, you will see a variety of results when you test your speed before and after. And that's really not the only factor at play here. We also have to look at latency, which is very desirable when we're looking through the app and also some of the other features such as parental control control, optimizing, and a self-diagnosis test through the app that works really fantastic. Also, most devices don't require that much more speed than you're already going to be getting, but the biggest factor is how it delivers those results to the devices. So with a better router running Wi-Fi 6, those devices can receive that information at the same time instead of with some of the older ones where they receive that information individually sort of set up in a line. So once one device gets their request, the next one will get their request. Now one other factor that's included with this is Rai offers a number of accessories that can help you create a mesh network. This means your whole household, if you have a very big house or one that has a lot of floors, can receive the same signal strength and the same Wi-Fi and internet experience. This is a really easy setup done in a few minutes. Now, if you're already in the market for or you're somebody that has a really busy household, getting an aftermarket router like this compared to just your individual modem is just going to offer you a way better experience. Especially if you're someone that, like I said at the beginning of the video, complains about the problem but never gets it solved. And I, I'm definitely one of those people, so having something like this is going to solve that issue and it only takes like five minutes to set up. Now for you streamers out there, the last feature we didn't really touch on is the ability to easily connect your OpenVPN account through the app. So if this is a VPN service you use, this is literally the best way to actually use a VPN because it's a 100% consistent connection. Now let's talk price point. The Rai E6000 is going to cost you $229, but I do have the hookup. We have a 20% code linked down below, and that will give you a pretty hefty discount on what I consider a really great router. If you're in the market for a router, this is honestly a pretty great product and it has multiple ways it's going to improve your streaming experience. But not just that, your overall internet connection and the happiness of everybody in the household when they're not dealing with constant lag when they're gaming and someone's trying to watch Netflix while there's YouTube going on upstairs. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.